very good system that we all know and we're all here for today, the Urshas. And, uh, and look at the result. I'm personally very, very pumped up to hear more about it today. And I'd just like to introduce my colonels, who's over here today. Thank you so much for coming. All right, thanks a lot. Um, I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about the history of this. profession uh, and the other part of it was because uh, they wouldn't let me use the word architecture anyway because they <laughs> took my license <laughs> so I said to hell with them and uh, invented a new profession architecture is achieving uh, sustenance through the encounter of earth phenomena and uh, it, that's what we've discovered uh, over 40 years uh, is that uh, there's phenomena on this planet that will take care of us. And it's taken care of other creatures for millennia. Uh, we just, for some reason, thought that we had to reinvent everything. But these earth phenomena are uh, wind, rain, sun, gravity, condensation, thermal mass, lightning, rainbows, you know. These are all aspects of biology and physics. And there's a whole lot more. We keep finding more. Uh, so these, these phenomena basically conduct life on this planet. We're just trying to align with that, encounter that, we call it, um, as opposed to thinking in our arrogance that we can uh, reinvent the sun in the form of a nuclear power plant, and we're seeing in Japan right now what's happening with that. Um, in ancient times, um, People in, encountered the phenomena of, of the entire uh, solar system and galaxy uh, with things like that. Uh, we're still trying to figure that one out. But, the, but we are working on it. Uh, it boils down then to six issues. Uh, now seven, but I'll go into that later. It's six issues that every city and every country in the world is having to deal with. And they're, uh, it's garbage, you know, we're dealing with garbage. Everywhere I go, there's this thing called garbage. Uh, we invented that. Uh, there is the need for heating and cooling the spaces that we live in that takes energy. Uh, there's the need for energy itself for all of our gadgets and lights and things. There's the need for water. There's the need to deal with sewage, which is, I don't care how developed the country is, I am all over the world all the time, and nobody knows how to deal with sewage. Uh, they're just, you know, it ends up in rivers and streams and bays. Um, and food production. Food is getting really ridiculous these days. Uh, because it's made for money, it's produced for money, not for people. And uh, the footprint of, you know, a typical banana is as big as a Volkswagen, the carbon footprint. So uh, uh, we're, we're trying to produce food in the home, eat less of it, and produce more. So these issues, though, there's a whole discussion and lecture on each one. But even when we go to third world countries, which we do a lot, they're, they're trying to uh, deal with these six things. The developed world is trying to deal with them too. It's like 
this is what we're trying to deal with. So why don't we make buildings address this? And that's kind of what the, the definition of an earthship is, is it's a, it's a machine that addresses these issues by encountering the natural phenomena of the earth. Um, so I'm going to show you a few pictures of, of the condition or the situation with earthships now before I go into the history. And, uh, and Anne point out that uh, there's a few, a few points to make as you look at that, but one of them is native peoples and plants and animals have existed for many centuries, and they hadn't had a significant effect on the Earth's ability to support humans. Uh, they encountered the Earth phenomena for sustenance. You know, plants and animals, that's what they do. They don't build nuclear power plants. Uh, you know, people a lot, of, uh, a lot of times ask me, well, who was your inspiration? Well, certainly no human was my inspiration. <laughs> uh, but animals, bugs, trees, you know, these are the things that I learned from and am still learning. These things did not have an economy and they didn't have garbage. We invented both of these demons and, uh, and they're still haunting us. So modern developed people have only been around for a couple hundred years and they've already screwed up the entire planet. Whereas, you know, typical roaches didn't do that bad. And uh, so when I look at the difference between us uh, and these other creatures, one of the, the two, two things that I see that they didn't have is economy and garbage. You know, roaches don't have economy. Uh, bears don't have economy. Um, and they don't have garbage. So we have these two things. That's what I've noticed. I'm traveling around the world all the time, and I'm seeing that we're the only things, creatures on the planet, that have economy and garbage. And uh, it makes me think. So I'm saying our economy and garbage, the ingredients that have caused modern humans to adversely affect the Earth's ability to support human life. And I'm coming to the conclusion that that's, that's, that is it.